Uh, so London again, day two. Today, startup conference, Wired magazine. I'm gonna have a talk in front of everybody, meeting a lot of interesting companies and everything. Wow, look at that. What's that called? London Tower Bridge. So very, very exciting other uh, encounter today is Raymond from uh, from Lilium. And so they're building vertical takeoff and landing jets, are they called them in your case? Right, yes. Yeah. Um, again, going to revolutionize our planet, revolutionize the way we travel. When can the viewer expect to get the first ride? Yeah, I told you, I can't give you the exact time. And latest 2025. Okay, so 2022, guys, okay? 2022. <laughs> That's what you're saying. <laughs> okay, check out what they do. <laughs> Thank you for coming. So, um, it's incredible being in a racing car. Your adrenaline levels are like exploding. Yeah, it's the hands are shaking. It's out of control, and so your capacity to feel pain is completely reduced. Yeah, and so I do things in a racing car, and I go into pain in a way that I would never ever be able to do um, in a normal situation. And one example is that uh, during one race, we lose up to four liters of uh, fluids. Um, so sweating, four liters, yeah, in the space of two hours. Every doctor here would say that starts to become very critical yeah, for, our, for our health and for our capacity to even still function properly. Um, and it's absolute torture. Sounds like a wired features music. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I, didn't, I didn't say that. Anyway. Um, so uh, yeah, and that, it's just the adrenaline that, that allows you to get into those uh, zones. Um, failure is, uh, can be something very, very awesome as well, because in failure we learn, we learn most. In failure, failure is a big motivator as well, because, a motivator, because we never want to fail again in that same way, because failure is horrible. So it really is a driving force. Um, and I experienced that. For me, failure has been so, so powerful. Um, also losing to Lewis in previous races, Never ever did I want to lose again, so it made me reach out for in a motivation which I didn't even know I had mm. to improve myself, to grow, to be even quicker, even faster. Um, and so, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. It's for the doctors to virtually practice operating on humans. VR is going to have such a huge uh, presence in our world. It's virtual, but as it says in its name, it is completely real and you immerse yourself totally. If we wanted to jump into Lewis's car... It's uh, unlimited, the possibilities. Um, so someone who recognized me just came to me and he has Parkinson's and he said to me when he at home puts those goggles on and then he immerses himself into that world and really calms his tremors down. So that's the power really that, that virtuality has. Two thumbs on those blue buttons for three seconds. And once you do, you can fold them in, fold the wheel in like that. Right? And now the wheel is gone and we drive backwards. So you can stretch out your leg and now we could do whatever. You could watch Netflix, you could talk to your friends. Seriously, go like that. Right? And you Interesting day, very inspirational, always learn, learn, learn a bunch of stuff, meeting interesting people. Speech was good as well, that worked out. But it's cool because I can really, you know, they can relate because I've, got, I've had extreme experiences of trying to perform under pressure and all that and, and it's similar in the business world so they can relate on a lot of stuff and, and uh, hope you enjoyed the, the vlog and tune in for the next one. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments and I'll answer them.